Hi, this is Preeti from Analytics India Magazine. Welcome back to another episode from our segment, My Journey into Data Science. This is where we talk to distinguished people working in the field of data science and discuss their transition. If they were to hire a data scientist, what would be the skills that they would be looking at and what advice do they have to data science aspirants? And today we have with us Vijay Balakrishnan, who is the Group Chief Data Officer at Michelin. He holds accountability of the entire spectrum of activities around data at Michelin globally. He also leads the setup and execution of AI guilds globally around ML, AI ops, computer vision, etc. So let's go ahead and talk to him. Coming to the first question, what do you work as or what is it that you do? I am the uh, Group Chief Data Officer for Michelin. I led various programs with data scientists in my team, uh, producing large scale business impact. It's what I continue to do today. I have about 11 data scientists in my team today. Mm -hmm. And uh, we actually look after various parts of the organization and we look, uh, we deliver value in various forms through data and AI. Let's talk about your transition into data science. started my uh, journey in data analytics about 14 years back. Um, and when I started, I started as a project manager, uh, managing a few BI projects. And, uh, but I've always been a techie guy. So I, I jumped in hands on, I tried to build some, uh, uh, some pockets of those solution myself. But what thrilled me was that my first deliverable. Um, I went back to my uh, CIO and I said, look, we have produced, uh, you know, X dollars of savings. And then I was asked, uh, okay, how did you produce that X dollar saving? How did you calculate? I said, okay, so this uh, particular activity, if manually done, uh, would have taken uh, uh, you know uh, more time and I've reduced it by uh, X amount of hours translating into about 80% productivity. Uh, CIA looked at me and said that okay so come back with these numbers and you're able to remove the people right because at the end of the day a productivity measure based on hours mm -hmm. should translate into an impact to the business that was a very game-changing discussion for me personally from that time uh, then I was a global program manager uh, in data and analytics then I led a, one of the biggest programs uh, in GE for digital thread around use of, the use of data and analytics in GE transportation. And then I moved on to Michelin as a group chief data officer. So in my journey through various roles in GE and now in Michelin, my focus into data science has always been through the business lens. I look for opportunities, problems, where we can solve those problems with data. Now when the problems became complex, the need for data science came into existence. When the problems became futuristic, the need for prediction and AI literally came into existence. And when I'm able to connect digitally through APIs to the systems, then I'm producing an entire AI system, AI solution. So that was my path, right? It's a very peculiar path for someone to start with, uh, you know, managing some BI projects to start with, like you rightly said, mm -hmm. moving on to becoming a, a program manager for data discovery, but then, focusing always on value and then do what it takes to deliver incremental value. And that is when uh, I segmented, I opened the window into data science and AI and started working on this. If you were to hire a data scientist for your team, what would be the distinguishing qualities that you would look at? Like you said, it's a, it's a, it's a very good question. Huh? So we are hiring a lot of data scientists. Um, the, you know, every organization has its own pie of prioritized areas in this vast field called data science or AI. Uh, for us, it is primarily around uh, machine learning, um, computer vision or machine vision and natural language processing and in that order. Now our hiring has been reflective of those priorities. For some other areas like uh, augmented reality or uh, uh, you know let's say uh, uh, streaming analytics or, or, or any other areas, we don't have too much of a you know, uh, burning need at this point in time. So our hiring has primarily been in this. But when I look into this, there are two sides to it, right? One is the core technical skills. You know, if somebody says, uh, okay, you know, I want you to try a K-means clustering on this, uh, how is the person able to think through, uh, you know, that technique and implement that technique? The other part is actually the presence of mind, we need smart people, you know, intelligence is on one side, that's where the programming comes into picture. We need smart people that can think on their feet, given a problem statement, ask some very imploring questions and try to arrive at what are the branches in which they can actually think the solution through. 
and 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 eventually uh, be little strong in proposing solutions right because uh, the the old school way of doing it in the bi world was oh i hear a requirement i get a requirements document i do those solutions i build those solutions i get them out that's gone it's very interactive these days you it is called discovery for a reason so we have those discovery sessions where uh, we say okay we have a common enemy here is a problem you tell me how you think we should solve it from your functional knowledge and i will tell you from my knowledge how we should solve it let's try to blend the two and use the best approach to solve the problem sometimes some of the attributes that you have not think thought through first comes into part of the solution critical part of the solution so i think that's what i look for Uh, and secondly i guess every organization has its share of priorities like i was saying in terms of what they want within a data scientist so that becomes an, an an order of calling for us we have a big focus on machine vision at this point in time for a manufacturing company um third in the post covid world there's going to be a lot of intelligent automation the the kind of norms that we are going to live with will call for a lot of intelligent decisions remote automations and so on and that's where i think uh, areas like machine vision is going to play a phenomenal role uh, in in assessing the right decisions to be taken in assessing the quality of products in manufacturing and so on so so in terms of um, some sneak peek into what might be a very relevant skill that would be it. coming to the last question what advice would you like to give to today's data science aspirants i i see two sides right so one i see a very bright side where people actually learn technical aspects and try to deploy it in very unthought of situations um and and i i'm loving it I, i the number of linkedin videos from my connects that i'm seeing these days around uh, uh, detecting a mask uh, you know so so they're very adapting you know towards tracking a ball in a cricket game uh, towards automated ai driven commentary i think there are these very intelligent uses of these of, of data science generally uh, that i am seeing which is very very positive and loving what i'm seeing that that pushes me to think through where i can uh, deploy uh, an ai solution at my home right so i'm also thinking on this lines by building one not by buying one okay The, the, but the second part is uh, the the core of data scientists is the domain knowledge. Come what may, there are a few domains that are going to be relevant forever: manufacturing, logistics, uh, distribution, uh, you know, sales, uh, the, the commercial angle. As I talked uh, in plugin today, the customer perspective. I think there are these are some of the domains that are going to live forever: inventory, so on, and so on. I think they should not forget the roots. It is so tempting to try these technologies in something that is new age and so relevant today. Phenomenal, those. But we should stick to the roots and try to project those applications on what does it mean to my inventory? Uh, you know, how can I convert uh, you know an object detection to a cricket ball tracking to how I can deploy that into my inventory and my warehouses? Should be the extension of the thought process, and they should. read a lot around the industry knowledge as well right so go choose one area a domain and go super deep in terms of theoretical as well as practical knowledge from what's happening around the world around this subject i think that people miss doing right people it's a broad field applicability is everywhere they keep talking to various people and they don't go deep and i am saying okay technically you should be broad fantastic but functionally you should go deep in one area so that would be my two cents Thank you so much for being a part of this video. With that, we come to the end of this video. Don't forget to subscribe to Analytics India magazine and follow this segment for everything related to data science as a career. See you soon. Bye.